Hey guys, Mechanic CG here and welcome back to Forza Motorsport 4. Today is episode number 5. If you guys are enjoying the content, then be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and feel free to hit that join button as it really does help support the channel. Hopefully you guys enjoy. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we are here for the Class F North American Tour. We're going to be starting off with Road Atlanta, then Sebring, then taking a nice trip around Infinium Raceway, which this will be the first time that we drive around Infineon in the Forza series. Then Sebring and then Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca. Let's get going. I genuinely need to fact check this, but uh, I also want to do these races fairly quickly so I can go and sleep. I want to get an early night's sleep tonight. Ready for tomorrow. Oh, this is such a good sounding engine. I don't care if it's low performance. It's such a nice sounding car. The fact though that the DMC, right, this thing is comparable to modern hatchbacks. More like re revamped Modern Warfare 2 with 18k resolution textures and double skins. Yeah. Did they actually announce Modern Warfare 3? Because if they've just made Modern Warfare 2 and then gone, do you know what? Let's make a third one in a row. Then I, 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 I don't know. That seems like the stupidest idea ever. Especially when they've gone from like... I, I want to say it was fake. But it's got like dates and everything. It looks legit from what I've seen. Did they seriously... It wouldn't surprise me. It's probably fake. Money. Wait, so that, that means it's real. If it's real, it's going to blow my fucking mind. Because Modern Warfare 2 was terrible. Compared to Modern Warfare 1. Like, it was very much a... I don't know. It was just terrible. Go, 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 go! Yeah. Honestly, if it is true, disappointed. What? Well, to be fair, Warzone has been terrible for quite some time, so... It doesn't really surprise me that much. I think Warzone is a bit of a disappointment. Uh, I, I mean, I, I'm not a fan of Battle Royales, full stop. I think Battle Royale games, as, as a format... I think if you make a Battle Royale, Royale game, it's just... Like, why? The Eliminator on Forza confuses the hell out of me. Because it's the stupidest thing ever. They obviously had to jump onto this Battle Royale trend. The problem is Battle Royale itself isn't a fun game mode. It's, f it's for competitive people. People that want to be the best. So Battle Royale is for competition. It's like ranked multiplayer games or something like that. They're for people who want to be the best. 
They get some random weapons, and then they've got to prove against a lobby of 100 people that they can survive the longest. It's a competition. There's no fun aspect towards it. A competition, right, is does not equal fun. Competition is serious video gaming. It's not fun video gaming. I like fun video gaming. And anyone that says, oh, but I, I find when I'm competitive in video games, I find it quite fun. You're a delusional fan. <laughs> I'm sorry. Nobody has ever sat down, raged at Rainbow Six Siege for three hours long and then said, do you know what? I really enjoyed that. That was a good day. I had so much fun raging at Siege for three hours. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> Tell me, because I'm not. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, like, Battle Royale is just, like, competition gaming. I don't like competition, hence why... I don't like Battle Royale. I think it's a very lazy game mode as well. Like, for developers to add Battle Royale, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory. Really. I was kind of pointing it towards Pandy as well. <laughs> but, um... No, there was someone I knew that used to play a lot of Siege and got really salty about, like, fucking... If he didn't win, it was like raging. All sorts. So. Pandy, if you are listening to this, uh, this is definitely aimed at you. Stop. Stop playing Siege. Play something better. <laughs> no, but the, the difference between, say, a Battle Royale game like Call of Duty and Siege. Siege is a... Okay, Siege is a mix between a competitive and a... It, it's sort of in the middle. The, the, the problem is, why do I want to sit, sit around for 10 minutes, fighting some random people, camping around, to then die and have to sit and wait for my teammate or my squad mate to finish it or die or whatever, win the game. That's the most boring thing in the world. Do you know what I want to do? I want to sit down. I want to play some multiplayer, where as soon as I die, oh, I get respawned and I can start shooting people again. Oh, I died. Right, respawn, start shooting people again. Yeah, that's fun. That's fun multiplayer. You're just killing shit. And that's what multiplayer should be like for everything. Also, this song's amazing. Time Warp by Subfocus. Oh, I got a DeLorean fan badge. That is awesome. That is nice. I like that. I like that a lot. I'm also going to get another car. <sighs> so. Early touring car. So you get the choice of the Cozzy, the M3, or the 190E. I'm taking the 190E. I think it's quite a cool looking car. I like it. I want it. I'm taking it. Thank you very much. Alright, here we go. Oh, it's time for the DeLorean. Such a nice car. It's quite enjoyable to drive too. Back to the future. Wow, 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 <laughs> I'm vibing. Sunday driver. Lovely. Even though it's Tuesday. I think it's Tuesday. Might be Thursday. Might be Wednesday. No, Wednesday's tomorrow. Mm. 
You didn't mess the engine placement or rather engine selection for a car during the end of development. Oh, no, 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 no. Oops. It would be capable sports car as well. Yeah, probably. I mean, the DeLorean, it looks like a good car. But the problem is, it's just very slow. Like, it's genuinely just slow. Even a mirror is faster than this. Like, for, for what should be a sports car, it's not very sports car-like. What is this? Right Here, Right Now remix. Something like that. Whatever it is, it's good. Some uh, old classic sub focus music now. Yeah. Kind of sucks. It could quite easily have been a really good car. Do you know the one that I think would have been really cool? Yeah, you know that Lancia Stratos concept that came out a while ago. They made a Stratos concept that was supposed to be similar to what they've done with the Kuntash and also the. I believe they did a Mura concept as well. Um, where they've made sort of like a modern version of these older cars. I think it would have been quite cool to see. Uh, what's it called? I think it would have been quite cool to see the um, Stratos version where they made a, a, a modern futuristic concept of what is an old classic and made that real. I believe the reason it fell through was because the fact it had a Ferrari engine in it, if I'm not mistaken. But, I mean, if they put a different engine in, they could have got one from Cosworth, from Ford. Could have gotten a decent engine from Cosworth. The thing I find really weird, right, about a lot of car companies, so when you look at Nissan, for example, they're a very Japanese company. You look at Toyota, they're a very Japanese company. You look at Porsche, they're a very German company. You, you look at Aston Martin, they're a very British company. You look at Ford, it doesn't know what it wants to be. So you have... Part of Ford that is very American, so that is your Mustangs, your F-150s, um, what's it called, what's the other one, Ford GT, this is sort of your American side of Ford, and then you've got your English side of Ford, your Focuses, your Fiestas, Pumas, But the issue is, is it European or is it English? It's a very, very confusing car brand. Uh, sorry, is it European or is it um, US? Yeah. It's a European US brand. But it, it, it's so split 50-50. Whereas you look at Say, for example, Bugatti, for example, was a very European company. 
with a lot of their cars in America. Yeah. It is a really confusing company. Where's my tunes gone? Slide. Lovely. I'll take that. Thank you very much. And I believe. Oh, we didn't level up. Play Persona 5 on Game Pass. It's not a game I would pay for. It's not a bad game. Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to have a look into it. Obviously, if it's on Steam, I'd have to buy it. Also, Infinium Raceway, everyone. This is the uh, first time we've driven this game. Oh, sorry, this track in Forza. Not the first time I've done it, but it's the first time in um, Watch Me Jig, the Mega Series. So, I actually love this track. I think this is one of the best tracks that America has to offer. I'm just not a fan of Road America. I think it's a little too long. The corners don't seem to flow very well. Yeah, this was in GC4 as well. I think because it, a lot of the tracks in GT4 didn't make it into GT5, their licenses were pretty much unlocked, and I believe Twin Ring Mategi was one of those tracks. Obviously didn't have a home when GT5 came out. Um, and Infinium was also another one that just didn't have a home after it came out. Gran Turismo 4 was, I think, just had such a good track list. I'd love to see Infinium make a return to Gran Turismo 7. I'd love to see... There's so many tracks that I think should return to Gran Turismo. But I think Gran Turismo, Carlos and GT4 wasn't too shabby. It wasn't, but there was a lot of duplicate cars. I don't think cars should have duplicate versions of them. Like, to the level that Gran Turismo did. Like, having 10, 15 different versions of the Miata. No, you only need one Miata. That'll do the job. But having different cars like a good list of different cars that's always appreciated all right that's a good first lap there for a ps2 era game yes it's a phenomenal game i don't think any game like modern day games i don't think are making the most out of what a system is capable of um Mainly because of the fact they're focusing on graphics, which means it's pushing to make this game look beautiful. But the issue is, beauty isn't all that makes a game. Gran Turismo ran at 50 FPS. It was a fairly decent quality game. It was had a good handling model. There was a lot of content. There was a lot of cars. All round, it was... 8 out of 10 for everything, in my opinion, for a game of its era. A lot of the time now, game developers are trying to get 10 out of 10 for graphics, but are neglecting everything else, so you end up with like 4, 3 out of 10 gameplay, or potentially even like shabby content, all sorts. It's just literally crap. It's just crap.
Yeah. I think it was like... If I'm not mistaken, the exact number in my head is like 1400, but I'm not sure whether that was GT4 or GT5. But the thing is, the car list in GT7, I'm pretty impressed with. I'm quite happy with the amount of cars that's there. GT4, like 480. 480? I thought it was way more than that. Was it GT5 that had almost a thousand then? I remember there was a game that had almost a thousand. I thought it was Gran Turismo. Oh well. Revving the absolute arse off of this car. I'm so tired. I can't wait to finish this and then go get some sleep. I've got two more races to do and then I'll get some sleep. I forgot as well, we've leveled up, which means I get to pick a car. So uh, I'm going to uh, see what our choices are for this one. A little bit more sub focus. Uh, so we get sports off-roader. This was before the term SUV was coined, I believe. Because sports off-roader, that wouldn't settle today. They'd be called sports utility vehicles. Anyways, I'm obviously going to take the Swareg. I think it's fucking... I, I think it's one of the coolest cars Volkswagen's ever made. Look how good that looks. That is a beauty. I'm hoping that it does bring a little more interactivity to the stream, but who knows? We have to actually use it first to uh, find out if that works. Have to run it for a couple of weeks. See how it goes. That's pretty good though so far. At least it looks cool. It does look pretty cool. chat shows up above the person's car that was one of the reasons why i picked this as well because i wanted um because twitch had chat uh on top of well when i was on chat uh on twitch sorry <laughs> fuck it's too early in the morning when i was on twitch i had the twitch chat on the screen and with youtube i didn't have that and it felt a little empty I saw that laughing emoji. <laughs> um, it looked a little empty. So I was like, well, I've got to add chat at some point. But this is sort of a more interactive way. Because I knew that stream avatars sort of had, like, a chat feature. Where you could have, like, chat messages pop up. I think it's a great way. I think it's a great way for 
interactivity and whatnot. Set you free. There's also some cool stuff that I'll show you that I can do with stream avatars. There is proper, proper cool stuff. The software is neat. A little bit of trivium. <laughs> I have a Lexus LFA picture ready. I just need to edit it up. But uh, yeah, I, I was definitely getting the Lexus LFA. The thing is, I don't want cars to be super expensive, so I, w I want people to be able to go, right, well, I'm going to watch a lot of streams and go straight for the expensive ones, and it be possible, but I also want people to go for cheaper ones if they want to collect lots of avatars and swap the avatar, like, up to them. There are some mini games as well, um, so I want to see how I can set those up. There is a slots one, but I haven't worked out how the fuck it works, so... As long as it's not like GT7, it's fine. <laughs> you must grind for 24 hours to get yourself one car. Mm -hmm. I stop for a balance unknown. struggle to find my way. 200 pounds worth of credits for one singular car, which is entirely useless in the single player. <laughs> That's fucking great. That's, uh, uh, <laughs> so for anyone who couldn't tell, uh, I just had a intruder. <laughs> That's fucking great. Apparently I have a delivery, so I have post, and I'm going to have to check it out in a moment. <laughs> when time travel in FM4, literally time travel, DeLorean, <laughs> boy. I need to sort out the emoji thing because it's not doing it how I want it to and I can't remember how I had it on Twitch but it definitely wasn't full screen. I had them where they sort of went... <laughs> yeah, it's cool but there's so many of them and I had it before where it sort of came out of... Like, I'm thinking... the uh, There where the um, 
what's it, the start lights are, to have them coming out of there, across the screen. But I can't work out how I did it on Twitch and how I modified it. So at the moment, they just appear anywhere and then start bouncing around. Just falling from the sky. <laughs> That's amazing. Right, so we get some uh, driver rewards as well. <laughs> That's fucking great. So uh, these are the advanced tuners. Uh, so we get a choice of these ones. I'm going to go for the Sylvia for this one. And I shall take the Sylvia. And this is mine. <laughs> Flying goat, baby. I'll go for that light blue. I think that looks awesome. Let's do this! It's time for the Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca. Lovely. <laughs> beep, beep, bitch. Coming through. Promises you made when I stood by her side was so broken. POV Mazda Raceway, but you're not in a Mazda. No. Oh, no. Excuse me, sir. I'm going to have to ask you to pull over. <laughs> oh, it's fucking great. He's... <laughs> Excuse me, sir. You're going to have to pull over. Oh, no. He's gone off the track himself. <laughs> oh, wow. That timing was fucking great. Specs when common sense is your enemy. Oh, boing, no, boing. It's crazy that modern day hatchbacks, or I say modern day, but hatchbacks from like 10 years ago, were able to equal the performance of a DeLorean. Now that proves one of two things. The DeLorean was either really shit, Or performance has improved in cars significantly. So, <laughs> DeLorean was always a shit car. <laughs> it's probably why I picked it. <laughs> By the way, Zeno, can you do me a favour? Can you type in exclamation point song? Just because I want to see if the uh, overlay pop-up command actually works. I haven't actually tested it myself and I can't, I can't type because I'm stupid. <gasps> it does! Oh, that's sick. It works. Let's go. So now, if you want to know what song's currently playing, Exclamation mark song is the way that it's going to have to be done. That's pretty cool, though. Is that the right song, though? Because I had an issue. Yeah, it is the right song. That's good. I had an issue where it sort of didn't quite... Slots 20. Let's have a look. Oh, he didn't win. Oh, 
I probably need to make the slots machine a little bigger. Because I think Stream Avatars is actually designed for like... Did, did you lose all your points? Is that what you've just done? <laughs> ah, I'm trying to do this one-handed. There you go, Zeno. <laughs> you are stuck there now. Just in the middle of the screen. <laughs> I don't even know. How long does it stay there for? <laughs> oh, that's the funniest thing ever. <laughs> oh, I love this stream I'm dancing. It's great. What happens if you do slots now? Does it say like, oh, you can't do it, you're stuck? <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> you have been pinned. Damn points. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm having so much fun with this! Oh, this stream avatar thing is great! You can do anything with it, like, I, I've just pinned your car there. <laughs> what the fuck, Mac? <laughs> I, I thought it was, like, time so it would stay there for, like, a minute. It It's just staying there, so, uh... Oh, it hasn't done it. Probably because you're stuck there. <laughs> or maybe I disabled bomb. I'm not 100% sure. I can't remember. There's, a, I have to sit down for like three hours and actually sort everything out. Because there's a lot of stuff to sort out with... Um, what's it called? There's so many settings. <laughs> Sad Zeno. Sad Zeno. Even jump doesn't work. But to be fair, that makes sense. You're kind of stuck there. So. Right, we're now level 15 as well, so we get another car. Jesus Christ, we get so many cars for this. So you can get the Plymouth Cuda or the Chevrolet Corvette Stingray as part of the American Drag Racer. Obviously, I'm going to take the Stingray as we have a very love-hate relationship with this car. For the memes. Even slots isn't working. Everything does... So that's literally like timeout, but it's a visual timeout. Like, you can separate people and say, here, you're in timeout. It does wear out. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.